The University of Massachusetts Amherst men's basketball team is tied with St. Bonaventure at the top of the Atlantic 10 Conference. While the team is having an incredible season so far, they had to overcome some very emotional, difficult circumstances. Along, of course, with the pandemic, the team having to leave Washington, D.C. two weeks ago during the riots on Capitol Hill. Some protesters even targeting the players directly. Western Mass News reporter Kayla Burton joins us live now in studio with more on how the team is responding after watching yesterday's presidential inauguration. Kayla? Well, Chris and Jordan, both players and coaches tell me it's really hard to believe that it was just two weeks ago when they were on the bus in D.C. and protesters were chanting some pretty harsh words towards the players. But head coach Matt McCall says watching a peaceful inauguration take place definitely put the team a little bit more at ease. The team was scheduled to play against George Washington University, but little did they know it would be the same day as the riots that took place on Capitol Hill. Western Mass News speaking with leading scorer and star player Trey Mitchell, who says he remembers protesters chanting directly at the team, some even using racial slurs towards them. He says though it was a difficult moment to be a part of, his teammates rise above. That was a, an easy opportunity for someone to lose their head and start saying things back. Everybody just kind of laughed it off and we went to the hotel and took care of business how we were supposed to. So I think that just comes down to speaking about the character of the group of guys we have. Head coach Matt McCall says watching the presidential inauguration on Wednesday, comparing the two different atmospheres of this week versus last week was very relieving. Yesterday, it's crazy to think that like we were there when it was just complete mass chaos, you know, and for yesterday to be a peaceful transition, um, it just kind of keeps things in perspective. Full deficit. McCall goes on saying, though it was a devastating time, it didn't weigh too heavily on the team this week because they're simply focused on competing on the court and working together towards more success. Now coming up later tonight on Western Mass News, how Mitchell is not only overcoming personal adversity throughout his career, but leading the team closer to a potential NCAA tournament berth this season. Live in studio, Caleb Burton, Western Mass News.